चलती 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 आज के संसार में रहना है मत हमारी मत भगवान और एक लोग भी चलती चलती यू ही कोई मिल गया था यू ही कोई मिल गया था सर राह चलती चलती सर राह चलती चलती Alors, bonsoir tout le monde et bienvenue. Bonjour, bonsoir, selon où vous êtes et en espérant que vous allez... Bonjour et bienvenue à tous à this Oasis of Peace. Nous allons être dans un peu de silence. Donc, nous avons un film spécial à partager avec vous ce soir. Donc, ceux qui sont familiers avec Daddy Chanky, bien sûr, savent know. And so I just want to say a few words in English. And so I'm going to share with you. So I'd like to welcome everyone. And uh, of course, we'll be presenting this evening mostly in French, although the, the film will be in English. But we want to wish you a very, very warm welcome. And to let you know, there is a, a translation in English. Uh, for all the parts that will be in French. And many of you are probably familiar with the Zoom language at the moment. You all know how to get your translation. But if not, uh, you go into the chat at the bottom and in the chat, you will find the menu or the link that will take you to the little tutorial how to enjoy the translation. But basically, you go on the bottom of the screen and you have a interpretation logo that you can click and select English. So welcome to each and every one. And we're happy that you can join and enjoy the translation as well. And so we have a whole team, of course, that is helping to prepare this evening. And so we thank you to everyone who prepared all of these technical details so that we can be connected and together and so unfortunately i so this evening we have a tribute to daddy chank here very she was the head of the brahma kumaris for several years but she left the body in on the 20th um 27th of march of this of last year And so we were so used to her presence that in fact, we aren't really used to how, how to live, how to continue without her physically present. We know that she is with us in one form or another, but often when it's when souls leave, we realize how exceptional they were extraordinary. They've left a deep mark, a deep, a deep impact on us. In fact, I, I was able I had the honor of knowing her, the pleasure of knowing her since the beginning of my time with the Brahma Kumaris for many, many years. And really many years to really discover, appreciate and recognize, to have that opportunity to have really a privileged ex relationship with her, to know the greatness the, of this soul. And it's difficult really to describe such kinds of individuals You know, we try and describe their personality. If you were to ask her praise, they might exaggerate a bit, embellish, you know, kind of increase. <laughs> But in fact, no. Every moment that we had with her, we really felt a presence that was absolutely extraordinary. And even for several days uh, that we're celebrating her, her, the anniversary, first year anniversary of her passing, You know, we might ask why, why was she so extraordinary? And I must say, you know, in all honesty, I don't, I've met very, very few who have that presence, who express 
just by their own presence who is able to have that impact by their personality, their attitude, their, their presence. It's difficult to put into words, but we have this little film of 20 minutes and we wanted to show it to you this evening because in fact, we all need an example, a model in our lives. Even if we never met her, we invite you to meet her this evening and to have the opportunity to, to meet her, to know her. And the sound of her voice, as you could hear, is quite unique, but behind the sound of that voice is a whole life, a whole transformation of the self, service to humanity, a love for God, an incredible love for God, that she would be able to transmit in each of her words, in every breath. There was someone really a unique individual who had that, that when you were in her presence was to be in the presence of an example, a model of what a human being can become and what a human being can offer to the world, not just you know, Daddy Janki of the Brahma Kumaris, but really a Daddy Janki, a person, a soul, a, a woman who served the world, who belonged to the world. And so I hope for you this evening that you'll be able to appreciate her presence. And if for some of you who know her or to know her as a presence that can inspire. Before we present the film, we're going to go into a little bit of a meditation experience a state of um, going within introversion. And so we invite you to prepare yourself by sitting self comfortably and to take a few moments to reflect, sitting comfortably and really to look at, you know, what is that flame within us? We call it the soul, but it is also a source of energy, very powerful source of energy. So very naturally, you can keep your eyes open. And so take a look at your eyes and to feel the presence of that soul. That energy, that luminous energy. We can really appreciate. We are all souls. And to be in the presence of such a spiritual strength force. It's as if to receive as if to be in the presence of light. We realize that everything comes from the soul. Très calme, très silencieux. Silencieux. So it's very calm, very silent. We hear the silence of the soul. You can recognize the soul. with universal values, that each soul is unique.
It is such a privilege to be amongst those who have been asked to remember Daddy Janky. She um, has the most amazing eyes. And when you, when you gaze into them, you're seeing beyond the material world. Each meeting with Daddy Janki left me different. Uplifted, challenged and changed. She was an exceptional person, remarkable. She was one of the few who really called me her friend. The most precious gift of all was to be with her, to be in her presence. मनुष्य कहते हैं हमको शांति चाहिए तो हम अनुभव से कहती हूँ शांति तब आएंगी जब साइलेंस में जाएंगे मन अंदर डीप जाएंगे अंतर जाना माना सब बाहर की बातों को समेट के समा के मैं कौन हूं अंदर जाओ अंदर दीप जाओ जितना अंदर जाएंगे इतना दीप जाओ जब तक शांति तक सच्ची शांति तक आत्मा अंदर से नहीं अनुभव किया है तब तब जल्दी कोई संकल्प की उत्पत्ति मत करो आदत पड़ गई है The first time I met with Daddy was in Oxford when I was invited to a call of the time retreat. As a social activist in a country and continent hosting the world's most unequal society, I recall vividly the experience because it was at a time in my life I was filled with so many questions and I had an endless supply of them, but no meaningful answers. We sat in awe and watched this little frail frame come in and powerfully transform the energy in the room merely by her presence. After an engaging talk, she scanned the room for questions and after answering a few, she looked right at me and said, Yes, I thought, yeah, right, all this is well and good in the luxury and beauty that surrounded us at the Global Retreat Center. But what of the real world? So I asked Daddy, what is your view on righteous anger? And what's happening in the world? And how do we overcome this injustice unless we fight it, Daddy? She answered, if the seed is poison, then the fruit can only be poison. Even if you nurture, water, care, shield the tree, it can never bear good fruit. When you are the seed of peace, then everything you do contributes to sharing who you are with the world. And when you are anger, hatred and violence, you cannot be an agent for peace. It was in that instant that a total transformation of who I was began. And all questions seemed to melt away as peace within emerged and continues to grow today. Daddy Janki was a very important person in my spiritual life. She nurtured my spiritual path and the path of thousands of spiritual seekers. She was the seed of feminine spirituality for planetary transformation. She was the seed that redirected suffering into compassion and happiness. She was a beautiful lotus flower of wisdom and higher consciousness. When I remember her life of Seva, my heart fills up with admiration. The content of her teachings and advice have always been in my mind and heart. For her, 
the real solutions of, to the world problems lie in the spiritual dimensions of life. For her, it was a very relevant to bring together those of us who are in the field of world service, that we had to develop a deeper connection with our inner spiritual self and with God. I was so happy, but I did it. It never happens, it never happens. I saw it in that way. संकल्प शुद्ध हो, शांत हो, श्रेष्ठ हो, दिल हो, बस। पहले संकल्प की जो जो अंदर जो बीज है ना, बड़ा शुद्ध है, शांति वाला है, श्रेष्ठ है, दिल डोआ। When I think of her, the thing that I remember most is her gaze. When she held me in drishti and I felt the blessing of being in her presence. And then there was her clarity. I remember on one occasion coming to see her was something that was worrying me, something that I was doing that was worrying me. And after a while listening to me, she looked at me and simply said, well, stop doing it. I was shocked. But then I thought, well, yes, that would do it. Stop doing it. And of course, like many others, I thought she could see right into me. And perhaps she could. But it was always with such a loving intent that there was nothing to hide. And there were the gifts, always the gifts. But of course, the most precious gift of all was to be with her, to be in her presence. It gives me a real pleasure to be able to share with you my experience of Daddy Jackie. I first met Daddy in Kuala Lumpur and subsequently I met Daddy up at Mount Abu when I attended the Call of Time retreats. The Call of Time retreats was Daddy's brainchild and every time it was held, every two years up at Mount Abu, Daddy would make sure that she would come up and join us during our discussions there. I remember each time Daddy walked into the room there would be pin drop silence. And Daddy took her time as she walked down the aisle to make sure she looked each person in the eye as she offered her drishti or her blessings. I first met Daddy Janki in 1999. I was in the middle of preparing for a big summit of religious leaders um, in, um, at the United Nations. 
and someone had suggested that I meet Daddy Junkie. So I went with no expectation, just really hoping to invite Daddy to come to this big summit at the United Nations. But I was totally unprepared for what met me. When, when um, I arrived there, and we had some dialogue going on, and then this very small woman walks into this room, but taking, bringing with her a tremendous spiritual energy and power. I was completely sort of transfixed when I, when I first was in her presence and felt the energy that she carried with her. Um, and then after the dialogue for that day, I was invited to come up and meet with her personally. And she just, I was sitting very close to her and she just stared at me, looked deeply into my soul really is what she was doing. And I looked deeply back at her and I was lost in those eyes of hers. She, she um, has the most amazing eyes. And when you, when you gaze into them, you're seeing beyond the material world into the spiritual realms. And that was a very powerful experience for me, that first time meeting Daddy and gazing into her eyes and just feeling her presence. साखियों के देखती हो संसार में मनुष्यों की एनर्जी कितनी उतरती कला में ये रियलाइज होना चाहिए चढ़ती कला में कैसे जावे चढ़ती कला में दो बातों की शक्ति लेके जाती है एक आत्म शक्ति दूसरा परमात्मा के कंडीशन की शक्ति एनर्जी बनती है Whenever she came to New York, I always wanted to try to see her. And I was most moved because whenever I could go see her, she always made time to greet me personally. Um, and then after meeting her a few times when she came to the US, um, she invited me to come to Mount Abu, which I did. I went a few times to Mount Abu to see her. And again, she always made time to meet me personally. And she called me her friend. And that was very, very special to me. I've met, in my work, I've met so many spiritual teachers, religious leaders from around the world. And she was one of the few who really called me her friend and treated me as a friend. And so there was no formality when meeting Dadi, of course, you know, one was conscious that you were in the presence of a very great soul, and it was an intense love that came from her. She emanated this intense love, and she had a great effect on me. You know, in my years, it's not easy to find, uh, through the interfaith work that I've done, where to find women spiritual teachers of that, of that category, who have such a, a presence and um, are, are beloved by so many and have love for the world. I mean, what one feels from Dottie is the love that she gives and she treats everyone as if they are a friend. I knew that I was no different. Everybody was her friend. She was the friend to all, and she was to all a friend. I have asked many questions. I have seen कहेंगे भगवान से आई है पर भगवान में भी मैंने अपन में विश्वास रखा है तो भगवान मदद देता है इसमें अंदर से सच्ची लगन है ना तो हिम्मत और मदद दोनों कठा पहले हम इतने ही कहते थे हिम्मत बच्चे मदद ही बाप अभी देखा है अनबो करत कहता है हिम्मत बच्चे की है सौ गुना हजार गुना बाप
मदद बाप की है into the eyes of Tati Jelki. It was like looking into a deep well or an ocean on a beautiful day. I learned to deal with my ego. I learned to be more detached. I learned that to trust. And I started to understand that life would not give me more challenges than I could deal with, that I could handle. And after this, my life took a totally new turn. I'm much more comfortable with myself than I was. I've learned to trust. I'm calmer. I'm more caring. My ego is not as big as it was. I'm more detached. And I think I'm a better person. I know the people around me are happy, the people I love. I owe a lot to Tati Janki. On this special occasion, which is a year after Daddy's passing, I have this message for Daddy. Dearest Daddy, everything that you have taught me has been put to good use. And I am now sharing this valuable knowledge with others so that their lives will be peaceful and purposeful as mine has been for so many years now. Thank you, Daddy, for your special love. Sometimes when I turn my mind to Daddy, I feel her presence right there. I see her smile because she has a most amazing smile. I see the intense love coming from her eyes. Um, and I know that it's a friendship that will last eternally because that's what friendship is. Friendship once given doesn't leave. Friendship is an eternal gift. So that's my that's my love for Daddy, that's my memory of Daddy, and that's how I feel about being in Daddy's presence.
So we now continue this meditation by reflecting on a quality that I felt was reflected in Dadi. And to go deep into her drishti, her regard, and be reminded of all of my inner beauty. This will allow me to go so deeply within myself and experience that flame. I am. That spark of life. Pure. And as I dive into that brilliance of my own light, I feel an infinite peace. like daddy. Daddy was always peaceful, constantly peaceful. She was constantly giving that gift of peace because her thoughts were sweet, pure, and benevolent for herself. This evening, we feel Daddy's subtle presence. And so I prepare myself for a very simple exercise to think one thought at a time. to remind myself of sweet things. My true nature, that of being, a being full of love. Love is my true nature. because my inner mind is in peace. Automatically, that which comes from me is a benevolent spirit, life force. I feel animated by a pure intention to become my best friend. And I can also make of the divine my best friend. She, Daddy spent her whole life connected to that pure source to all the qualities. Made God, the Supreme Soul, her best friend. And so, in Daddy's image, in fact, I can experience, I can feel the presence of the divine this evening. A look from daddy takes me automatically 
to that source of pure love. And I dive into waves of the ocean of love. from deep within, from the heart, from the heart of the divine. If I think of it as spiritual scuba diving, the more I can go even more deeply into the depths of that ocean. And even more, I can feel this love for the self enveloped in a strength, in a strength of power that believes in me, that has faith in me. There is no longer any place for a doubt, for any questions, any uncertainties. in the love of the divine. I access that trust, that an inner trust and serenity. The divine believes, believes in me as he believed in daddy, her potential, and myself as well. I also have a potential to share with the entire world. And the only effort I need make is to dive deep into that experience of the soul. the depths of the ocean, the ocean of love. Ocean of peace. An ocean that gives me courage and hope. that I can make the impossible possible. Because if I take one step of courage in my life, I have the certainty that the Supreme Soul, my spiritual parent, will take a million to help me, a million steps to help me. One step of courage and a thousand steps of help in return. Quelques instants, je reste là, immobile. For a few moments, I remain immobile. I feel loved. Protected. Blessed.
chosen, beloved, embraced in the depths of the heart of the divine. sweet silence that lives within me. And all the cells of my body that I then radiate to the entire planet I change, the world changes. I am a peaceful soul. Very gently, I come from my out of my meditation with a feeling of great inner peace and sweet gratitude. And so it was really a beautiful moment to share together. Thank you for joining us and to be open to this, to live this experience, to be in the presence of Daddy. I don't know for you, but I really feel that subtle presence was, of the soul was definitely there, present, and will inspire us. And so before you leave, I'd like to share a thought with you that you can take as a blessing, a special blessing for you. And so a quality that characterized our dear daddy. So to love, to love simple things is human humility. It means to respect all that life presents to you. It means to appreciate and value everything appropriately. It means to focus your own, on your own inner peace and not to lose your sense of personal well-being. So to love the simple things is humility. So it was one of the great qualities of Daddy, this humility and simplicity. And so thank you again, as always. We will be um, sending you a new program starting in April. And you can, of course, stay connected to us by connecting on our website, our Facebook page, or through by um, send us your, if you're not yet uh, subscribed to our email list, please send us an email and we'll add you. And of course, if you'd wish to like to, if you'd like to support these activities, do not hesitate to uh, visit our website and we have a page especially for contributions and for contributions online. And so in a few quick clicks, you can offer that greatly appreciated um, support and contribution cooperation to allow us to continue our activities and our programs at the center. And so now we are going to leave you with a beautiful song. Daddy, in fact, knew a number of individuals 
around the world. And uh, she actually was able to meet many interesting people in many different domains. And one of them was Robin Gibbs, formerly of the, the um, Bee Gees. And it was actually a soul who was so, so touched by the qualities of daddy that he actually wrote a song for her. And so we would like to share this song with you that is all about mother, mother daddy, but daddy the mother. And so we uh, wish you a very, very lovely evening and we wish you, you know, the opportunity, the power to <laughs> take a moment in a nice flow of meditation that will allow you to, to appreciate and to emerge that mother in that soul that is you and share that. And so again, a great thank you to you and Om Shanti and see you soon. Take care. Mother, take my hand Lead me to the world I understand Mother, take me home Help me find the strength to carry on Everything in life we have is changing you are all I need to keep me still Mother of love, angel of light I'm a long lost child, so alone in the night Mother of love, angel of light You have saved Mother, keep me warm Always be my lighthouse in the storm Mother, set me free Give me wings to fly eternally I'm a long lost child, so alone in the night. Mother of love, angel of light, you have saved this song, you have given me sight. Must the world, the tide of war, be rising? The suffering of children fills our eyes. 